Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yesudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Today we will look at a treatment that I prescribe fairly commonly in clinic for a condition that can be difficult to treat. It's the use of oral zinc for resistant viral warts. The information for this video is based on a systematic review of clinical trials that was published earlier this year. Warts are one of the commonest conditions that we encounter in clinic and is caused by the human papillomavirus. It affects individuals of all ages. Two thirds of common warts can resolve spontaneously within two years as our immune system tends to fight it off. However, the infection can be progressive or recalcitrant, probably because of an impaired natural immunity against the virus or because of immune escape by the virus itself. This occurs particularly when there's underlying sensitive skin or eczema. Current treatments include liquid nitrogen, salicylic acid, and many other topical agents. Unfortunately, there is no definitive treatment to cure or prevent recurrence, and this is not available yet. Zinc, which is an essential element, plays a vital role in physiological and pathological processes in the body. It also regulates the immune response to counteract viral infections. As a result, Zinc, both oral and topical, could be categorized as a form of immunotherapy. Let's look at the studies that have shown the effectiveness of oral zinc in treating viral warts. This was the biggest study that was published in 2002 by al Ghwari and colleagues. It was a placebo-based trial in which a very high dose of oral zinc sulfate, 10 mg per kg per day, was used at a maximum dosage of 600 mg a day. Each patient had more than 15 watts and had tried numerous treatments prior to the use of zinc. All subjects were healthy with no underlying chronic medical conditions. In this study, zinc appeared highly effective with a clearance rate of 87% in the treatment group. Some of the images from the study were very impressive. This was a 35-year-old patient with extensive watts on the dorsa of the feet and legs of five years duration. There was complete clearance after two months of treatment with oral zinc sulfate. Here's another 15-year-old patient with mosaic plantar warts of two years duration. Again, complete clearance after one month of treatment with oral zinc sulfate. Finally, a 23-year-old lady with plain warts of three years duration on the face. Again, complete response after one month of treatment with oral zinc sulfate. There were two randomized controlled trials from Iran that also showed remarkable efficacy. 77 and 78 percent response in the zinc group versus just 8 and 13 percent in the placebo group. An open-label study from Korea reported that 58 percent of patients with multiple non-genital viral warts showed low serum zinc levels and 50 percent of the patients who completed the study with oral zinc showed complete resolution. In this trial, younger patients and patients with common warts responded more favorably. Here's an image from the study showing a 20-year-old woman with multiple flat warts on her face before and after treatment with complete resolution of the flat warts with oral zinc sulfate. One tip from the study suggested a way to reduce the metallic taste of zinc when taken with water. They suggested that patients could divide the dose of zinc into two or three and take it with milk or yogurt when they experienced much less of the metallic taste and less of nausea as well. This method relieved the side effect which is seen in most patients. However, there have been other reports and studies that did not show efficacy against viral warts. This was a randomized control trial from Mexico that showed that zinc was not superior to placebo for the treatment of viral warts. The high doses of zinc that are used can also cause gastrointestinal side effects like gastric irritation. Some children also develop nausea due to its metallic taste, but we've already seen how we can avoid that. Reviewers also suggest that the initial trials were from developing countries, especially the Middle East, where nutritional deficiency of zinc has been prevalent. The studies also had very small sample sizes. Therefore, well-designed and large-scale studies are required 
to identify the optimal regime and the correct dosage for zinc in vital bots. So what can we conclude from all the information that is available? Zinc seems to be safe and cost-effective treatment, particularly in those with resistant viral warts that have not responded to commonly used topical agents. My practice has been to use it in combination with other modalities. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.